I just wanted to do a quick video, um, nothing special, but I just finished building the outhouse. Uh, it's actually completely done, so I just kind of wanted to go walk around it real quick and just show you kind of the finished product. So you can see the roof is all done, we have the board and batten siding all done, the door is all hinged up, working great. I planed down the edges so the door, door would fit in there nicely and it open and close nice and tight. Um, I had to trim down the top of the door just a little bit and then I chamfered the top of the battens to give it a somewhat decent look. Um, it's supposed to be rucket, rustic so that don't really matter too much but I used a couple of uh, really heavy duty door hinges, exterior door hinges um, to hold this door on. They each have eight lag bolts each holding each of the hinges in so this way I know for sure that this door isn't going to cause any issues with sagging or falling off or weakening. So the board and batten's all done all the way around the edge. I just put this piece of trim here on here today. Um, I know I probably could put a batten there but I don't think it's going to be too much of a big deal. It's in the back so got the roof done all the way around, the siding on the roof. This side all done. The roof's looking pretty decent. Got the flashing up top and the trim board all on there and I just put the last finishing touch on it which I thought was kind of cool um, I was going to buy a door handle for it and I decided to make one instead and he wanted a rustic look for the um, the outhouse and so to go along with kind of the barn look and the outdoors woodsy look I decided to make my own door handle out of a tree branch <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. I was looking for uh, a cool looking tree branch that I thought might be handy. And um, I'll put the camera down here so I can show you. But this is basically the bottom of a tree. And this tree, the roots were coming from here. And the tree grew up and then kind of funky and over. And so the tree came down um, when we were clearing some of the property over there. So it was just a small little tree laying down over there. Sorry about the shaky camera. Um, so this is now the door handle. I got it screwed in from the inside using deck screws so you can't see any of the screws exposed on the outside and I kind of cut it off here so it almost looks like it's kind of growing out of the side of the door and up and over and it's a solid door handle. So now I'll give you a little tour of the inside and no don't worry I'm not going to test it out on camera <laughs> or at all for that matter. So here we go. The door swings open a little bit more than 90 degrees which is plenty the interior of the door where I put all the the strapping here to nail all the board and batten siding to um, and really inside it's nothing too fancy I think I showed you this before there's the roof for some sunlight the back wall and uh, the blocking here in between so I could put the board and batten siding on you can see you get a nice view of the outside from in here, plenty of light from outside. I need to put a little bit of a little handle in here. I'll just take a probably a block of wood and make some sort of quick little makeshift handle or you can just kind of put your hand under and grab or I'll maybe even just screw something to this so they can just grab and pull it shut. So basically they'll just pull it completely shut. And I do have a hook and loop which I might just put on here for them to be able to hook and loop and lock it shut but I'm not really so sure it's going to matter too much because it's going to be out in the woods in an off-grid camp that you actually can't get to from any sort of maintained road. Um, it's an unmaintained road in the winter it's only accessible by snowmobile. I was just talking to him about it yesterday so it's pretty cool but I am really happy with this. I love this door handle here. I was just going to get a regular regular door handle but then I thought it'd be fun to make something out of a branch and then I saw that laying on the ground out in the woods and the shape of it and I thought that thing is perfect. So I'm pretty excited. He's coming to pick it up tomorrow. Um, so this project is finally done and I topped it off with a, a tree branch. <laughs> so anyway, thanks guys for sticking around. I know these updates aren't the most exciting things but I figured I'd at least share with you what I've been up to. Um, Today is Friday. I am going to plan on emptying this kiln out this weekend. So that's going to be one of the next projects I got coming up. 
I'm gonna put the extension on the mill, a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, I shared you with too much of that in the other videos. I'm not gonna share all my hopes and dreams with you. I'll just share them as I complete them. Um, but I'll keep you posted, and I hope you guys all have a great weekend, and hopefully we'll talk to you very soon. Take care.